Welcome back. In the last video overview, I discussed federalism and the logjam between proponents for a strong national government and those who wanted strong states' government. This dispute was potentially a deal-breaker to the establishment of a new constitution. However, it was overcome and the Constitutional Convention continued on. As the Con Constitutional Convention drew to a close, with only one week remaining, another dispute uh, erupted between the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists over the need for a Bill of Rights. After all, the Anti-Federalists argued, the majority of state constitutions contain a Bill of Rights. Why not one for the national government? This dispute was mitigated when the Federalists unequivocally agreed to add a Bill of Rights at a later date. In fact, one of the first order of business for the first Congress that convened April of 1789 was to pass legislation amending the Constitution by the addition of 12 proposed amendments, 10 of which were adopted in short order. We refer to these 10 amendments as the Bill of Rights. You might ask, what became of the two amendments that were not adopted? Great question. The First Amendment is technically still pending before Congress and has been for the past 228 years. The Second Amendment was passed in May 1992, taking a mere 202 years for its adoption. In this chapter, we will explore the Bill of Rights and other subsequent amendments that guaranteed individual liberties and equal rights to individuals as well as groups. We'll look at the various threats and challenges to these liberties and rights since their adoption. And finally, we'll also examine the struggles to expand and secure these liberties and rights to all Americans. Let's get started with our study of civil liberties and civil rights.